Tyson Fury, AKA the Gypsy King. The sweet science of boxing is hitting and not getting hit. And I believe, again, in my opinion, Floyd Mayweather's been the best at that. Mm. I think I'm on the ground. Muhammad Ali is the greatest fighter in the world, in my opinion, because of what he did inside the ring and outside the boxing ring. He was not only a great champion, but he was a people's champion more than anything. I hold Ali as the greatest of all time, dear to my heart. Mike Tyson, always used to wake up watching his fights, uh, lucky enough to meet him a few times at a slight toe. How raw he was, in and out of the ring, so he's my favourite fighter. Sugar Ray Robinson, he could fight, he could punch, he had speed, boxing ability, great footwork, you know, just before his time, I think he was sensational, yeah. Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather. Um, Josh Wallin. <laughs> <laughs> um, Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali. I'd, I'd have to say Muhammad Ali. I think he had everything about him, you know, chin, heart, desire, stamina, and also the people he beat, you know, the Frasers, the Foremans, and obviously out of the ring. No, that's more so uh, everybody's choice, but it's not just for what he did in, inside the ring, ring, it's for what he's done on the outside as well. I'll go with Muhammad Ali, you know. He was in and out of the ring, he was a champ for the people as well, and he was really, um, really inspirational in changing a lot of things. Uh, toss up between Sugar Ray Leonard and Sugar Ray Robinson. Greatest boxer of all time is Sugar Ray Robinson. You just look at his record and the amount of fights he had and the amount of fighters that he fought. What a fighter. I know Sugar Ray Robinson is generally regarded as the, the greatest ever. Um, you know, welterweight and middleweight world champion. Unlucky not to be a lightweight world champion. But for me personally, Sugar Ray Leonard was just a phenomenal fighter and his natural weight class was well away, but for, for him to do what he did to Marvin Aguilar at that stage of his career was, was unbelievable after two years out, so he, he, he gets the nod for me. I reckon that Tono Whitaker is, is up there of a shout, but I think that's because I just, I like his style so much. I used to like watch Bear Dobkins and Roy Jones Jr. They were my favourite, like, you know, love watching fights. Obviously you got Mike Tyson, stuff like that, but to study and watch it would be as a, as a fan, and I've been lucky enough to meet him in person, I want to say Sugar Ray Leonard.